Oh, check that out. Yeah, bolt together. Yeah. And it's that's a yeah, so that's, a that's high high horsepower. Down. Okay. Yeah. Pretty cool one. That's probably worth more than my whole trip. To show you guys something and what i want to show you is in this box right here which if you're familiar with the brand you probably know what it is but what's really really cool is we got to go uh and check out how these things are made thanks to dan palmieri at circle d specialties um so it was pretty neat we got to tour the little um i guess you could call it a factory uh and a warehouse on how they build the converters and kind of hear the story behind it and it's kind of cool because these converters that actually kind of start from um old uh cores you know that have been used in other vehicles and things like that like we found out that the uh the smaller converters that we use in the turbo 400s and the 4l80es actually start off as a uh nissan converter and in a way it's kind of like recycling <laughs> high performance recycling so it was a really, really cool experience, and, and we had a good time. Thank you again, Dan. Um, I don't have a lot of audio of explaining what things are going on um, because uh, there's music playing in the background, and if you guys know YouTube, uh, you got to be careful with that because they will uh, demonetize your video and do all that. But I did get a good explanation of Dan and how it works, so uh, I'm going to get right to it, show you guys uh, the, the footage of touring Circle D, and... Uh, and just like you know some of the end products and stuff like that and how awesome it is and uh, once we get up with that we'll open this box and i'll show you what we got in it That's, that's still, cool. Still setting my guy up. That's so, awesome. Yeah, so you can possibly yeah, see. That way you just <laughs> press the button and it welds it all in, Yeah, right? so you got the, the plate welded in and the hub and yeah, I guess it. Oh, look yeah. at that weld there. Actually, the uh, the whole arm rotates around. Oh, the arm yeah. rotates around it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's on the, yeah, because it's got a yeah, bolt from the there. That's like a surgical robot. Our surgical robots look like that. So it's like, oh, is it the angle of this that makes the stall? Or? Correct, yeah. So the blade angle does make the stall speed a little bit. It's the count, right? Yeah. So all these are going to be about the same size. Oh, and then these are... Oh, wow, that looks like a whole lot more. Yep, so the inside blades are a little different, and the outside blades, where they where it exits, is going to be a little different, which will give you a different stall speed. That you see oh, the so this so this will be so which one will be a higher stall this, this one, one yeah. yeah so that one's like straight and then this one's like yeah. really at an angle that's pretty cool that's rad yeah so that combined with the diameter side
so it's this is the 252. There. So, there you go. This is actually a 265. I can get a 265. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I'm trying to find one real quick. Science. We consider the drive plate, so that's constantly spinning. Okay. And this is that's going to be welded to the rear impeller. So this is constantly spinning, moving fluid. Your so that shot. moves with the with engine. The engine right, yeah. yeah. Because uh, it's because it's welded together. Correct. Oh, yeah. Or bolted together. Right. So then your input shaft's gonna go through here and then go through the turbine in here. And once you start building up enough pressure, the pressure is gonna want to push this turbine and push the vehicle forward. There you go. Okay. Um, the fluid coming back, trying to get to the the pump or the impeller, is redirected by the stator. And that's where the blade number, blade angle comes in the, yeah. comes into play. To slow or to slow it down, or make it more efficient or less efficient. efficient. So a less efficient, I use that in quotes. <laughs> um, a less efficient converter is going to be a higher stall speed. Okay. Um, Until you get to a certain RPM. Correct. Right. Yeah. Once you get to a certain RPM, there's a uh, there's a sprag inside this, and it allows the the stator to freewheel because oh, okay. what actually happens is the fluid wants to come back around on the other side of the blade and it lets it freewheel and couple up nicely so at a high rpm this is freewheeling inside the uh inside the converter at a lower rpm it's stationary and it's redirecting the flow towards that the, way. Yeah. as far as uh, lockup is concerned uh, so lockup So this would be our triple disc lockup. Okay. We have one clutch on the bottom that floats, and then this top one, clutch and steel, and it's keyed into the front cover. Yeah. Wow. And then your uh, your lockup piston is keyed on the inside, so it's keyed into that floater. So clutch. that would be disc three of a triple disc clutch, right? Or no, um, crazy. Disc three would be the three sides of clutch material oh okay so there's even more so yeah. this is the single or no this is this would be a triple oh I, they're on top of each other yeah yeah okay. so you got uh you got one on the bottom yeah one on the bottom one, one on the back and yeah. then the yeah. third okay yeah. i was making it too hard that's all right so then this keys in i have grease all over my fingers oh, no. I can't do this. <laughs> you had it yeah, I know. Earlier, Somebody I... had to ask question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so your input shaft essentially pushes fluid down here. Okay. And some critical force yeah. separates it. So um, <clears throat> your input's pushing fluid here into the bottom. It's going out underneath the lock of clutches and essentially lifting it up to disengage it. When your ECU tells it to engage, mm -hmm. it's pulling this fluid out and then applying Pulling pressure there. Yeah. And then uh, that's all keyed in or splined into your turbine, which is driving your transmission. So when this locks up and goes one to one, it's also locking up your turbine. Okay. Which is moving your transmission one to one. So you're no longer using the fluid coupling of the converter. At all, you're just doing the full connection lock. Like a clutch, sort of. I mean, it is a clutch, so yeah. yeah it's hydraulic. Awesome, man. Thank you for that. Oh, check that out. Yeah, both together. And it's, that's a, yeah, so that's, that's a high, high horsepower. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty cool one. That's probably worth more than my whole truck. Some of you might remember a video where I showed you that I went out and bought a used budget Circle D converter for my 4L ADE transmission that's going into the Dakota. Well, Circle D was cool enough to, they actually buy those cores back. So I was able to trade that core in and I got a pretty good deal on a Pro Series 
torque converter. Now, this is not like full-on race torque converter, but it is their Pro Series torque converter. I will put the part number or at least the model number in the description so you guys can check it out yourself. I gave them my camshaft specs and kind of what I'm going to be doing with the truck because if you don't know, I've got a Brian Tilly Racing Cam in the 5.3 that's, that goes in this truck. Um, we've got it tore down because I actually had issues with uh, my Turbo 400 that was in it and I broke the bill housing. So I decided since this is a drive and drag style vehicle, it's time to go ahead and upgrade to a 4L80 e-trans. Anyway, we gave them all that information, told them that I'm gonna be spraying some nitrous on it eventually, um, gear ratios and everything else that we're doing with this, and they put it in the computer and uh, came out with a ideal converter for the truck. So hopefully this converter will really keep the motor in the, in the power band, keep it cooking and, and uh, really even wake up the truck more than it was before. But with all that said, let's dive into it and uh, show you what we're working with. So I will open this big old box up and pull this dude out. And it is super neat looking. I can tell you that right now. Oh, and heavy. So here it is. It's Pro Series Circle D converter. I think it's a nine and a half inch converter. I might be wrong. I could probably measure and find out look at that but what's cool is they machine and you saw you may have seen some of that stuff in there they take these cores and they machine them down um, so this is their own machined hub and it's ready to go and it gets welded to uh, I forgot what they call that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna quote it because I don't remember <laughs> But man, that thing is, that's probably one of the fanciest uh, engine transmission parts I've ever bought. Uh, it's just, it's gorgeous. So um, it's got the snout for the LS, so I don't have to worry about a spacer anymore. I do need to get a flywheel. But um, obviously you can only see the exterior here, but I will tell you it's a 3,800 to 4,000 stall converter. That's gonna match up with that cam really, really well. And uh, I can't get, can't wait to get it installed. So um, I got a few things left to do on the truck, and one of those things is we're going to be putting an 8.8 .8 in here pretty soon. And obviously the bed's hanging out right there. So if you didn't see the last video, we took the bed off. So I got to get this stuff stripped all down and cleaned up, and then I'm going to coat the frame, um, and then we're going to get working on installing the 8.8. .8. So still got a lot to do on this truck. Um, but it was super cool to go check out Circle D Specialties. Uh, little side note, when I was 17, I used to work at a mechanic uh, shop. And I was kind of just a, a shop hand. And I cleaned up shop and made parts errands and stuff like that. And Circle D's been in Houston for eons. Um, and originally, they only had one store. And it was a transmission shop. And I used to weekly go drop off and pick up transmissions at Circle D. Um, so it's kind of cool that they've erupted to this big company. Um, I think they did split two different companies. They still have a transmission shop and Circle D Specialties is the high performance stuff. So they do like uh, uh, machining of SFI flex plates. They build their own flex plates and obviously torque converters. And I think they even do maybe some torque converters for um, just stock stuff too. I mean, they do high performance and uh, all the way around the industry, but um, it's cool to have something like that local to us um, because we, we're right up the road, you know. And uh, let's say for some reason I didn't like this converter, I can actually take it back to them, pay a little bit of a fee, and have it restalled or refixed or whatever I need to do to make it meet my needs. Now, I'm not that smart, and uh, my truck is not going to be that fast, so we're probably not going to need to adjust anything for a very long time. But it's cool to have the option to do that instead of having to go out and buy another, you know, $800 to $1,200 converter. So that's fantastic. So I'd like to say thank you again, Dan, for showing us uh, Circle D. Uh, it was super cool to see how all that works in the, all the CNC machines and 
how pretty some of those parts come out and the beautiful welding on everything uh guys this these things are they're just artworks especially the higher dollar converters and the and the welding team that they have on it it's it's super super like high-end stuff so you're, you're getting your money's worth when you when you go through them and uh they're not paying me for anything they're not a sponsor you know so i'm just telling you guys that just from being there in my experience and a, and a little bit of pride because they're a hometown business right so so anyway i'm gonna end it off there thank you guys for coming along and checking out the little tour at circle d um and uh let me know what you think uh, of the converter and uh, how it's gonna do in the dakota because i think it's gonna even though i'm going to a heavier trans i think it might pick up a little bit and maybe get us to that uh, 1190 spot that uh, that i've been going for before we put the nitrous on it so so anyways, um, if you're new to the channel, we have all kinds of projects. We have all kinds of fun and uh, we'd love to have you along. So please consider subscribing if you already have subscribed. Thank you guys so, so much. I, I, seriously, I probably say that every video, but I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys for subscribing and coming along. And uh, yeah, we got some more stuff coming along soon. I'm hoping to uh, maybe work on that thing and I've got a video coming out soon about these seats right here. So you're going to find out about those. And uh, yeah, other than that, you guys have a fantastic weekend. And we'll see you next time. Until next time, you know the deal. Y'all be good.